this stargazer. Well, from fireball to a fiery workplace, in August, the New York Times reported on Amazon's work culture, calling it a bruising workplace. The paper cited anecdotes of workers crying at their desks of being encouraged to rip colleagues' work apart. Amazon now trying to shift to the perception, announcing new parental leave benefits today. Our tech panel is here. Product Hunt, Russ Freshtick, tech commentator Jessica Kimball-Leslie, and former Dice.com, Jack Hittery. So, Russ, I'm starting with you. Amazon trying to turn over a new leaf, yeah. and I might add, also joining its peer group. It's right. not like Amazon is really a pioneer. I mean, Netflix and numerous other tech companies are trying to be more generous, more flexible with yeah. leave, right? Yeah, a lot of that is encouraging people to leave these other companies and say, okay, we're going to join Facebook. Right, in this there case. is a tech talent war going on. Totally, but it's a big PR move for them. I mean, they need to convince the world that they are not an evil corporation. They like their employees and they want them to be happy. All right, so Jessica, how does this stack up versus, and we just showed our viewers a couple that, that you already know, that is to say Netflix, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Yahoo, Apple. So, I mean, they kind of had to keep up, right? I mean, honestly, I think this is mortifyingly embarrassing. I mean, my response to all this is, go home, Jeff, you're drunk. Um, if, if you don't value you know, being a father as, a, as an institution, a family, I mean, only just now had to institute those benefits, you should be mortified. You're supposed to be the company of the future. All right, Jack, what about the fact that the benefits are there? Like, go ahead and take them, and then all of a sudden your entire peer group gets promoted ahead of you if you dare take them. Well, the problem right now is that it's not really the competition of Facebook, Google, and others. Yes, there's some competition there for this, but it's also the well-funded startups. These guys are hungry for talent. They're drawing a lot of people away from Amazon, from Facebook. But, Deidre, I have a feeling this is really the calm before the storm. Um, Jeff has already said publicly that he's going to replace a lot of his workers, particularly in the warehouses where a lot of these problems were, with robots. He's already bought <laughs> Kiva, which is a robotics right. company. Uh, he's already eliminated about 50% of the jobs in warehouses. with. As Kiva. it turns out, robots don't really bug you about parental leave. Not a lot of parental leave for <laughs> robots. So um, this may be the calm before the storm. All right. From a questionable work environment to, to questionable user activity. So Facebook, if we look at the stock as investors, I mean, the stock is surging, but there is this new report that user activity is waning. 34% of users updating their status in the third quarter. But if you compare that to last year, it's 50%. Russ, do you see social media fragmenting? I mean, this would be dangerous for Facebook if it continues to happen. Sure. I think the biggest concern for Facebook is losing that younger audience, the audience that's gone to Snapchat already. Um, and that really should be their focus is maintaining. Now, they don't need to be on Facebook. They just need to be on a company that Facebook owns. And Facebook owns a lot of companies. So that's pretty good for them. OK, pretty good for them, which is part of why they bought Insta, right? Is of because course. they thought like, OK, this is this quick snap sharing, which seems to work. What is your I mean, how many social sites can we really have? And then to what extent does a user have to be active mm -hmm. to want to participate? Well, Facebook owns authentication. So when you want to sign in somewhere and you sign in with Facebook and it saves you all those clicks, uh, they are a buy, buy, buy stock, honestly. Um, whether you are, your preferred channel is Insta or Facebook Messenger or everything Facebook Messenger is about to become with M and their new announcements about it being a digital assistant, they are absolutely the stock to buy. Mark, Mark Zuckerberg is probably the Steve Jobs of his generation. And uh, he knows that it's going to be abandoned and he's got plans. So he, right. he's 10 steps ahead. And he's in India. He's trying mm -hmm. to be in China, worldwide domination. All right. Thank you very much, Jack Hittery, Jessica Kimball, Leslie, Russ Freshtick. Glad to have you all here.